Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my Lord Bishop, uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, the Governor of Campbell, and the entire Koinange family. I stand here on behalf of our, our family, the Kenyatta family, um, and specifically uh, for my mother, who would have really loved to be here, but unfortunately, uh, in the circumstances, was not able to be with us. As we have heard from uh, Karuga Koinange, the bonds between our family and the Koinange family are very, very deep. Starting from the great friendship between my father and senior chief, uh, Koinange, culminating in the great friendship with Bio Koinange, and finally culminating in marriage in between the two families with my stepmother, who unfortunately passed away uh, in, during childbirth, but a marriage which was fruitful, which produced my sister, Jenny Wamboye Kenyatta. So we have a very long history, and it is on behalf of my family that I also stand here. And it is with, gr with grief and deep sense of loss that I convey my sincere condolences to this gracious family following the death of my friend, the Honorable Paul Koinange. Losing someone so dear is, de is devastating, and no words can really relieve that pain. But despite the loss, which we all feel, let us cherish the good memories we have of our dear friend Paul. It is the positive things that we always remember that keep us going, making our lives much better. It is also the achievements of our dear brother and friend that encourage us to do our best to attain the goals of betterment, not only for our families, but for the greater good of humanity. Honorable Koinange was an exceptional friend. His unassuming demeanor and cheerful disposition always endeared him to all who interacted with him. To me, myself, Paul was not just a friend, but also a brother. He was always keen that we live purposeful lives that would impact not only our families, but the whole nation. His commitment to unity amongst all Kenyans was demonstrated in the way he looked for ways and means to enrich our cultural diversities and make us a better nation. I also vividly remember our annual trips to the United States of America to attend the US National Prayer Breakfast meetings. We were able to build bridges, so to say, between a lot of people from both this side of the world, the United States, and between people of all nations who would attend the breakfast. And Honorable Koinange was a perfect leader in this particular uh, event because he led us, because he was the co-chair of the Kenyan National uh, Prayer Breakfast. Honorable Koinange was soft-spoken yet firm in the execution of his duties. Throughout our friendship, I learned great lessons from him, especially the power of humility in undertaking and fulfilling great assignments. We might all have different memories of Paul, but one thing is absolutely clear to all of us. He loved and lived for his family and country. Because of that love, he went out of his way to create a conducive environment for future generations to thrive. As we mourn our dear friend, may these condolences bring comfort and may our prayers ease the pain of the loss. I pray that the love we all have for Honorable Koinange will forever be ingrained in our memory. To the family, I pray that God will shed his abundant love and that his grace will be sufficient as you go through this trying moment. 
At this stage, I would like to just basically ask Almighty God to rest the soul of our friend, husband, father, in eternal peace. Can I ask us all? Raha ya milele, mpe, wana, na muanga wa milele, umuangazie, apumzike, kwa amani. Thank you very much.